Shannon Holmes Media, Bronx Bookman, you feel me? Um, so you just asked a real good question. You know, it's really like real guys, real dudes, you know, we, we have a certain kind of uh, 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 language that we all speak is universal no matter where you come from. If you come from Alabama, you understand. If you come from Harlem, you understand. You speak it because it's real life. You know, it's a real life situation. Real things happen. So, you know, I rap one thing. My, my how I am, because I'm just speaking to you from the heart, and how the heart comes is real. When I come real, it sounds like this, you know. It, but it, it ain't nothing changed since the notorious. Everything's still glorious, you feel me? We still got warriors. We still be the victorious. Shannon Home Media, right? So I did the book. I came through, I ain't catch no, 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 no bad feedback on it. There ain't no ceases and desists. You can't cease and desist this because it's been put together right. Um, it's just the truth. How in the world can you stop the truth from being heard? No lawsuits, you know, because after, because really how it is is Shannon Holmes is like, either we going, you know, it was a time in my life where it's either we going to do it by the book way or the, either we going to do it by the, you know, and I said, yo, I want to do the book way so I can give my son a chance to really grow up and, and see what these things is all about. I don't want to ruin it for everybody, but really, I threw it on the line here. I throw it all on the line all the time. You know, not saying I'm I'm built like the toughest cat in America, but I'm definitely not the wackest one, you know, because I always stay plugged in to the things. down the street. We in Harlem. Let's look. We in Harlem right now, right? We in the middle of Harlem, right? Right here, Black Star. Black Star, you know, this is, this is, this right here, for anybody who knows, this is like the Apollo Log. When you come to Harlem, you gotta touch the Apollo Log, right, the Apollo. So this is like the Apollo Log, you gotta touch Black Star. Listen, this is the book, right here. Next for Mark Curry after this, what we gonna do is I'm gonna do another book. I'm gonna go a little deeper into it, you know. Huh? I print my book. Ooh. Nah, nah. I print. I'm my own publisher. I, I, I'm my. See, that's how they do it in Harlem. You hear the motorcycle? This concrete jungle right here, but you still hear the dirt bikes though. No dirt. This all straight up concrete. But um, I did my own. I self-published. I self-published the book. Because it ain't no sense. I, I came out of a bad you publishing have deal. deal. You have they don't want to touch that. Anything, anything that's coming out, like let me just give y'all a game. Random House is owned by Universal. Universal is owned by Seagram's Gin. It's not happening. Uh, Warner Music owns Warner Books. Virgin Records own Virgin Books. So they're not going to support you on putting. You know, information out on what they be doing MTV, in the publishing MTV, world. I call old MTV, which is Simon and Schuster. Simon and Schuster. So everybody really. And, and they tied in with that theory, that reality theory. Hey, yo, theory. hold on, hold on one second. Hold on, let me see the camera. Yo, oh, how it go? How it Shannon Oh, owns Simon and Schuster, which owns MTV, which has a stake in that because uh, yeah. uh, Puffy's reality show. They definitely not gonna touch because of that. You hear that? That's a money maker. You hear that? Now so now Mark back. got the camera and I'm being interviewed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, we just had to reverse the script. Now watch this. Video. So you heard what he just said. He didn't tell you nothing that wasn't right. So how in the world are you going to get a publishing deal with the people who done, they, they, they say, why well, I'm going to give you a deal to, uh, to write a book about the things we did to him? Mark, Mark tell me something, right? Yeah. I read a little bit of your book, you know, I was dibbling and dabbling in it, and I gave it, passed it on to my homegirl. And you said that he said that he thought you was washed up. So you wrote that hit. That one hit. Yeah, yo, it was in Miami, was that my correct? Was yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. When we right? when we walked in, that's when I did the bad boy for life. And he was the, calling you out on yeah, the album. Me, yeah, yeah. I read that. Yeah, he was just basically saying that, you know, he didn't believe in, in in me as an artist, like it wasn't gonna happen. So then I came back and did the bad boy for life. Then I came back on that. You gotta look at that saga continues, Puff Daddy and Family. I probably did about nine, six, nine, I ain't gonna exaggerate. Probably about six joints on that album. I did all of that within like a week, two weeks. That's the time I rode motorcycles on the beach. Did you, know, you, did you yeah. write a lot of was you, was you, what was your goal in Bad Boy? You wasn't coming out, we heard you, we heard about you, but nobody ever saw your, your the whole Mark Curry album. Is there a Mark Curry album in the works for yourself or, you know what I'm saying, an independent route or something like that? 
Now, I put an album out, but I'm gonna have to be the boss of it because I can't have no bosses over me no more. I already done put, you know, to have that boss in your life is like putting your life in, 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 in their hands. And if they don't respect you for how you respect yourself, it's not going to work. So I don't never want to be signed. I don't never want to have nothing over me ever again in life. Did you feel that, did, 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 did you feel that they didn't respect you as an artist or, or as a man? Or, well, how did you feel you were disrespected? What way, shape, or form did you feel you being disrespected? I was, you know, I was, to me, I just felt like they tried to play me for a chump. Is that they just tried to, you know, the same old artist thing. You know, like how you got a lot of artists signed right now. But they ain't got no album coming out, they ain't on no roster, they just got budget money. Just shelf them, take the budget money, rape the budget, take a flight, go get a yacht, all that on my budget. So, you know, I felt like that's what happened, but, you know, today I'm a book author. So I did my reversal, and I came back as a book author. The book is moving, the book is doing great. Yeah. I've been a lot of places, man. I had to snap me a copy. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it's definitely moving. They can't say that. You know? yeah. For those who don't know, could you tell us how did you get with bad boys? For those who don't know, and not hear like your book or nothing like that. Uh, we could do that. Um, it's a guy, my man, my man, his name is D Mac, you know, which you know, when we stepped into the business game together, we both was kind of like not understanding how it went, but you know, I know I did music. You know what I'm saying? My man, yo, yo, he got the Think Big shirt on, right? Think big. But anyhow, I'm, I'm at my man D-Mac, and he happened to be real close friends with Puff. So then Puff had called one time, was like, yo, Curry, uh, he called me on the phone at 3 in the morning. I ain't never even talked to Puff on the phone. I'm sitting in the bed with my wife, and he called and like, yo, I want to sign you to my label. And I'm like, all right, you know, well, tomorrow I'm going to wake up. And when I wake up tomorrow, the only thing you have to do is do the flights, and I'm going to be right there. We can talk face to face, because it ain't no sense. I was in Atlanta. But you're from California. Nah, nah, they thought I was from California. Your pops is from California. Now, my pops, my pops, my pops, nah, my pops from right out there in Florida. But he from right here in Harlem. You feel me? You got to read the book. Okay, I messed up, I messed up. It's all right, though. It's all right, Shannon Holmes, because you want to know why? Because you got permission to make any kind of mistake you want and come back and refix it because you Shannon Holmes, man. Old man had, like, like record shots all, all up and down in Harlem or Madison. All of that, so you know, and he, he was doing that back in the 70s, and I lived in Teaneck, New Jersey in 1979, you know, so, and, and, and for all those who may not know, you know, Teaneck, New Jersey in 79 was like Hollywood and, and Beverly Hills in, in, in California. Yeah, those was my neighbors, Sylvia Robinson, Joey Robinson, Scoochie, um, what, uh, it, it goes on. It goes, it, it goes right. Uh, I'll tell you about Leo. We talk about fame. Me and uh, the, the rink. We don't have to say nothing. The rink used to be a bowling alley. You go to www.markcurrybook.com and you get your book from offline. That's if you really directly want to help your man. But let me tell you what else we can do. Come on. Because we in Blackstar, right? This is my, my man Pop. You understand? Right. What up? What up? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, see, because if this goes, see how it goes? Uh, this is going to be the closest. You can come right here. Have right in the middle of Harlem. All this joint. And you can find it right in the middle of Harlem. Because like the song say, we ain't going nowhere. We can't be stopped. We can't be stopped. You feel me? So, you know, um, I, I, I appreciate everybody. I, I appreciate all, all the fans who've been supporting the movement. It's a movement, so I definitely need all the support from everybody because I'm going in. Um, I'm definitely exposing a lot of things about the industry that people really are scared to touch, but I'm going to touch it and let them know because in order for, for us to make the world better for our, our youth is we're going to have to expose it. So I'm going to expose it, you know what I'm saying? I don't care what it takes, you know what I'm saying? Because I got eternal life.